Hey guys, this is Jack with Kapwing. If you've ever taken a live photo on your iPhone and you want it to turn into a boomerang on Instagram and you found that it wasn't that easy, you're not alone. But Instagram just released a new feature that will help you out tremendously because it is super easy and super discoverable now to turn live photos into boomerangs. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a boomerang out of a live photo first on your Instagram story. And then secondly, I'm gonna show you how you can post a boomerang on your main feed on Instagram. It takes a couple more steps than just getting it on your story, but it's still pretty easy. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is make sure that you have a live photo. So you can just click on any photo in your camera roll or take one and it should have the little live button and that little icon of sort of like a ripple in the top left. And if you hold down the photo, then it should start moving. You can see I'm discoing here. I was uh, in an outfit for a Studio 54 party. <laughs> but if you don't have a live photo, then you have to take one. So you'll just open up your camera app on your iPhone and then make sure that the little ripple in the top right, right here, is yellow. You can click it and you'll see that it'll turn off. And if you click it again, it'll turn yellow and it'll say live. Then just take the picture and then you will have a live photo. So then once you have your live photo, all you have to do is go to Instagram, open it up, and then go to make a new story. So just swipe to the left and then you're going to upload your live photo. And then it should show you that it has the boomerang symbol in the top left corner. Um, if it is a live photo, it'll show you the boomerang symbol. So you can see all of these will work. And as you can see right now, it is just a photo. However, they made it really discoverable so you can make it easily into a boomerang. All you have to do is click on the top there, on the top left, um, there is the boomerang button, which looks like a little infinity sign. And if you click that, then it will turn it into a boomerang, which you can see here. And there are a couple of new options as well that you can do to your boomerang. So firstly, the first one that's highlighted will be the original. Um, the one to the right of that will be a slow motion boomerang. To the right of that, it will have an echo effect. So you can sort of see your movement and where your body has been. And then the last one is duo, which I just believe is twice as fast as the regular. So there you have it. Then you have your boomerang. So if you want, you can just post it right now um, on your Instagram story and then, yeah, you just do that by clicking post your story. However, if you do want to post it on your main feed, it is a little bit more complicated, but you're going to do the same thing that you've already done. This is the perfect place to be if you want to post on your main feed. But what you're going to do now is that you are just going to save the video. So what you're going to do is click the three buttons in the top right and then you're going to click the save button and it should save to your phone as a video file rather than as a live photo file. So when you open up your photos, you should see that it is in fact a video now. Now you are able to just post it as is if you'd like by clicking the post button and then you can add your video right here and you can see that it will be a boomerang. However, it will make the thumbnail a square. Of course, it always does. Um, so when you're done posting this, for me, it might cut off my face from this. And so I don't want that because obviously I want my face to be on the thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is throw it into Kapwing, our online video editor, and then add some white borders and make it a square so that when it is posted, the thumbnail is of the entire video. So to do that, you're going to use kapwing.com and you can go to Kapwing by clicking the first link on the description below and you can do this on your phone or the computer or anywhere that you have Wi-Fi, any device, and just sign in, it is free. So once you're in Kapwing, you can just click new content under your workspace, and then you can click to upload the file of the video that you just made and downloaded. So just go to your photo library, click the video that you want, and then upload. And now you can see that the video is in the timeline. Then what you're gonna wanna do is click on the video layer. So just highlight that, um, and it should highlight yellow, and then click the edit video button, um, just above it on the left. And then you're gonna wanna click lock ratio. And this makes it so that when you change the file size or the output size that it won't squish the actual video size. So then you're good with that. Then you're just gonna click off to the side, um, just onto the studio, make sure you're not clicking on the video or anything like that. And then click edit background um, just above on the left as well. And then you're going to change the output size to one to one, which is a square. And now you can see that my video is ready to be a square Instagram. And so when it's posted, then the thumbnail will be a screenshot of the entire video and it won't be missing any of, you know, my face. So then you're just going to click the export video button in the top right, and then it will process and then you can click the download button right here and then click download again if you're on your phone. It will download into your browser downloads in the top right. Just click the little downward arrow and then click on the file. 
make sure that it is good and then you can save the video. And then you can just go ahead and post on Instagram. All right guys, that's about it. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and also check out our Discord so you can keep up with other Kapwingers and the Kapwing staff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.